Hi, how are you? Today I am making my fried prawns recipe very crispy. I'm also adding some broccoli with it. This can serve as an appetizer just like this or you can serve it as a meal with something on the side. Also, you can put sesame seeds all around your plate. You can work with it and also make different other seafoods with it with the same batter and flour and panko mix. It's so good. Prawns are this. They're like shrimp. They have this head and this long tail. They're so yummy. What you're going to do is you're going to clean here. You're going to take out this, this part of it. You're going to leave the head, but you're going to clean out all these little legs. And you're going to leave the tail right here, this little tail. And you're going to take out the little um, line here, the black line. We need to always get rid of that. So what I have is I have panko breadcrumbs. I have an egg wash that I made with milk, which I added some crushed red peppers, some pepper, and a little bit of adobo. And also another thing I did, I added a teaspoon of chicken broth um, powder. Trust me, it's good. And then here I have my flour, which I also added some adobo crushed pepper and the white pepper. And I mixed it up, mixed it really well, shake it around. So what we're going to do first is we're going to clean our prawns. We'll be back with clean prawns. And we're going to do our dipping. And also what I have is I have some broccoli that I'm also going to do the same. So great, here I've cleaned my prawns. You see I took the skin out in the middle. And I left the head and I left the little tail and I cleaned it out take that vein out you want to take that vein out so now you're gonna see this head right here oh man that is just so full of flavor some people won't want to eat it but trust me the crispiness it's just so good these Korean crispy prawns they're so yummy and when you go downtown to places like Chinatown and even in Flushing where there's a lot of um, Koreans you can um, find these they're so good and they make them delicious they also add sesame seeds sometimes I'm not so here we go so with your prawn, I'm giving it one wash in the egg wash. See that? Powder it up. Shake the excess. Be gentle. One more time. And then it's going in my panko. Yummy. Look at that. So you just work gently with it because of the heads. You don't want them to break off. And if you do have some that break off, then that's okay. You can just fry them up, and when you put them on your platter, you can put them together. And like I said, some people might not want them, but some will just love them. They will just love these. There we go. Panko. Yummy. So at this time, another good thing to do is you could have your oil getting hot. Because you need to put them in very, very hot oil. So you see? Wash, flour, wash, wash, panko. So simple. And then all the flavors coming from the adobo, the pepper, the red pepper flakes, you can always add more. So I'm going to finish these up and then we're going to fry them up. And also your broccoli is, I have here my broccoli, I blanched it already. You just blanch it, blanch it really quickly. I'm going to dip it in the egg wash. I'm going to dip it in the flour. With, um, with the broccoli, I'm going to give it a double dip in the, in the flour. And then, being like that a little moist, I'm going to go right to the panko. I'm going to squeeze it down a little bit, not too hard. Move it around. And there I have my broccoli ready for frying also. So you see what I did was, once again, just dip it one time. Flour. Don't forget shake. Wash again. Flour once again. Shake. Can't go. Bring it all on top. There we go. Beautiful. Great, so here we go. I have everything breaded, floured, everything is ready. Also, another thing that you have to know about these prawns, when you fry them, your oil might get a little red because I want to show you something. You see here, this is the head and this is part of what you're going to be frying. So you see that little juice in there? Some people won't like it, but it's so tasty. It's like, um, I don't know, it's like the membrane of it. Oh, it's so tasty and it's so crispy. 
so that will actually make your oil turn a little red so don't be scared about that okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna alternate between both because I don't want my broccoli to turn fully bread all either so I'm gonna start with my broccoli you see the oil the oil is very hot if you have a fryer this will work a hundred times better what I did I got a big pan with a lot of oil so this is going to be done pretty quick. You're going to turn it around in a minute. So like I said, I'm starting with my broccoli because I don't want the red residue on these. Yum. These are going to taste very tasty. They're almost ready to turn. The oil is so hot. Oh boy. All right, there we go. I'm turning it. And remember, you blanch this. So by you blanching them is what helps them to finish cooking. Blanching is very important, so don't forget. I mean, you can't just put the broccoli and start frying, but blanching helps you and it makes your broccoli more tender, of course. So, there you go. Yummy, yummy. Great, so here is our broccoli. They are finally done. Look at that color. That's the color that you want. And since you blanched them, they're cooked. Oh my God, these are crunchy and tender. <gasps> these are so good, they, they will go so well with your fried prawns. So now here we remove them. Make sure you shake out all that excess oil. I have a plate here ready with paper towel. So now after you remove them, these is when you can start um, adding your prawns. At the same time that you're removing these, your oil is getting hot. It's getting a little hotter, I mean, so you you can put your prawns right away, I think. To so make sure all that oil is out. You don't want it to just be sitting in the paper towel getting soft. Mm, these are so tasty. And then our prawns. Our prawns are next. Remember, be gentle with them. You don't want to break them. And even if some of the heads did break off, it's okay. You're going to be okay with that, all right? So you're going to start. Your oil, you know, will wait a few seconds. Beautiful. Now I'm ready. Oh, there you go. There you go, my friend. Don't crowd the pan. If this is the pan that you're using, don't crowd it. Or even if you're using your fryer, don't crowd it too much. There we go. Ooh, pretty. Look at that. Don't burn them. Just get them super crispy. That's the whole trick of them. Also, if you have sesame seeds, you could put a plate with sesame seeds and dump these on top when they're cooked. That'll just add an extra little bite. Great, so look, now you remove your prawns. Careful, remember if they broke apart, that's okay. I'm meaning to get myself these mesh like spoons so I can be picking them up a little faster. When I find those, then I'll definitely show you where I got it. Yummy. Oh my gosh. These are so good. And the broccoli. What's so good about the broccoli is that once in the blue, it's not bad to give your kids fried broccoli, you know? And then it'll have them eating the broccoli because it's just so yummy. Look at this. Oh my God. Let's try this. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mm. So good and tender. Look at that. Look at how they look inside. So tender. And you heard that crunch? And the flavor on them with the little seasoning I gave you, so, so good. Look at my prawns. Look at how they come out. And they're so crunchy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Look how they came out, so crispy and delicious. Yummy, our broccoli, you know, tastes delish. I'm going to just try a little bit of this. Mmm. You hear that crunch? So yummy. Thank you for watching my videos. Um, just know this recipe, you can also make it with regular shrimp. You can make it with oysters, clams, just the same recipe, so yummy. Also, another thing you could do, if you don't want to use the adobo, you can always just use garlic powder. It'll have the same effects. So I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Also, you know, you could do other vegetables like zucchini, things like that. So good, so yummy, fried, crispy, Korean style shrimp. Sally's way, of course. <laughs> there we go.
Please come back for more recipes and I hope you enjoy.